useful for some of the, the um, for some of the exercises we go through. Uh, it won't add any time particularly, but I just want a couple of things that you can do um, at the beginning of this. Particularly when we're this time in the morning and we're getting into sort of more um, rigorous uh, routines now. So starting lying on your back, feet hip distance, arms by your sides. Relax your arms and try and get those shoulders to release. So you want your upper arms on the floor. That might mean taking your hands a bit wider than by your side. You might feel they ping forwards there. So take them wide if you need to. And then let's just go into that imprint. So we're gonna squeeze the tummy and draw the lower back into the ground. Now, when you imprint here, and you've got your lower back pressing into the floor, I want the emphasis to be on the tummy, the pull down of the belly and the tuck under of the tail. So pelvic floor absolutely here will give you a deeper tuck, just like you do for sphinx or cat, and then release back onto neutral, back onto your tail. So you've got this arch back. And then we go again. So we're gonna exhale to imprint and inhale to release. So reasonably quick, or you're gonna take them as, as speedy as your breath cycle is. So it's um, very specific to you. But really make sure that you don't skimp on that breath and you don't skimp on that tuck. When you come back to neutral, take it all the way back. Don't overshoot, don't overarch. Okay, so we're just releasing the lower back a little bit. And then from here, we're gonna curl up. So taking your tail one, at, um, one vertebra at a time, you're gonna peel up into your bridge, holding at the top here, check those shoulders. And as you come down, you want ribs first. So you're gonna take the upper part of the back to the floor, soften the sternum down, think of melting your spine bit by bit down to the floor, tucking the tail so that your tailbone is your last bit to touch. And we're gonna go two more times. So we round an imprint, peel up. Take it sequentially, hold at the top for an inhale, and then start to peel back down. So we're starting to find the abdominals for movement. We're starting to connect the two. Um, one more time, and mainly the, the most important thing about these exercises is they're brilliant for releasing the back, releasing the spine, finding space, finding flexibility. So if you struggle with chest lifts or um, knees in tabletop, these are really good because they just wake up the spine a little bit. Pause here, bring the feet and knees together, keep the arms wide, and we're just gonna tip the knees. Keep the shoulders down, keep the knees together, most importantly, so you roll across on one side of the feet or foot and then exhale, scoop that tummy and pull back. Other way, so we inhale over. Now make sure that the pull back comes from the belly, squeeze, think of those belly lifts, scoop to the spine, pull back. One more each way. We allow the knees to go as far as you can, but don't let them slide apart, keep them together. So you're moving your pelvis, not just your legs. Another way, tipping over onto one side of the hip, shoulders down, chest open, exhale and pull back. So a little rotation too. Let's take it up to sitting when, you get, um, when you're ready. So we're going into our round back. Um, now you can do these on a chair if you, if you wanted to. We are wanting to make these quite small. So small, big movements are kind of deceptive. You don't need it for this exercise. You're gonna take your arms forward and your hands together. You're gonna to round into your C shape. So just like we've been doing in this seated position, scoop the tummy, round and tuck. Now let those shoulders drop. You can keep the arms quite light and now start to curl back. Don't go very far, just tip off of your sit bone so you won't even go as far as your tailbone. Hold here, really tuck under, really deepen that scoop. Now turn to your left. Go just beyond the legs and lower the arms down. Bring them back up and then scoop the tummy and go all the way over to your right. Turn, turn, turn. Lower the arms, bring them up, and scoop, 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 all the way back to centre. Pause here, come forwards, and lift up, okay? There are options for the arms. You can be here if you prefer, then you can just drop them down so you're a little bit less tense in the shoulders. Um, so we go again, we're gonna round. Now the most important thing here, the movement is coming from your ribs. Start to tip back, come off of your sit bones. So again, you can be on the chair if you need to be. Pin those legs together, don't let them slide. Now let's turn to the right this time. So we go across. Remember this movement is coming from your rib cage. You're twisting in your waist. Lower the arms, bring them up, and then scoop back over to your other side. Squeeze that tummy in as you turn, and then lower and up. Let's go other way. Exhale all the way across. Inhale lower, 
up and exhale, scoop that tummy to move, draw the belly in, keep those legs stable, lower, lift, back to center, lift up and all the way to extension. Now we're gonna do an extended version. Arms go forwards, palms down, now stay tall. Lift up through the tummy. Now in this position, I want you to feel like imagining there's a bell above your head. You're gonna lift your spine to ring that bell. Don't push your ribs out, just extend up. Think of sticking your sit bones into the ground. Lifting pelvic floor, scoop the tummy. Now lead with your left elbow, start to, to bend it and take it behind you. Your chest turns with it, your knees do not slide and you just rotate round. Now keep reaching up for that bell. Come all the way back to center. Keep lifting, keep scooping, keep drawing up through pelvic floor. Other way, we rotate, lead with the elbow, but move those ribs, don't let the knees slide. Shoulders down, come forwards again. Now hold it here, take your hands together, round into your C shape. Travel back, just off of your sit bones. We go again with those rotations. We're exhaling to the side. Inhale lower, inhaling into the upper back. Exhaling across, other side. Inhale lower, shoulders are relaxed. Remember the movement here is the ribs, not the movement from the arms. We're not leading with the arms, we're leading with that sternum. Turn your chest, tap down, up. Now scoop that tummy, wrap the tail under, round, 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 as much as you can. Lower, lift, back to center, take it forwards, lift up, bring that bell, lift pelvic floor, lift your belly. Scoop from the floor up, turn your palms down, turn to your right, lead with your elbow. Keep those legs together. Think of turning your breastbone to the side of the room. Now hold here and if you can, lengthen that arm and reach all the way back behind you. Keep it straight and twist yourself back to your start position. Shoulders down, let's go again. Lift from your belly, from pelvic floor. Now keep lifting, keep lifting as you turn. Don't forget that pelvic floor. Don't forget the tummy. Don't forget to ring that bell. Extend the arm, keep your legs together, or at least in line, <laughs> and straight arm all the way back round, and rest there. Okay, take a second. When you're ready, you're gonna roll down to your mat, check you've got some room behind you, round your spine, scoop your tummy, and curl to your mat. And now I'm here, I need to check what we're doing. Um, Oh, right. Okay, hands behind the head. Okay, so feet on the floor would be an option. Um, I'm going to show you legs tabletop and then I'll show you the alternative. So taking one leg up, hands behind the head, armpits draw down, draw the other leg up. Now, remember we need those lats to make sure that we're not using the neck. Armpits down to waist. Scoop your tummy, hold your neutral if you can. Exhale to curl up. Now, if you can't hold neutral, you may need to make a decision about it and hold whatever your decision is. Knees closer or lower back imprinted. Hold here, we're gonna exhale, toe tuck. Inhale back. Now, if it's enough, if this is too much for you, then just legs in tabletop with a chest lift up and down would be an alternative. So you can just hold the legs up, lift and lower the chest. With this version, you wanna stay high. Keep those elbows in your peripheral vision. Draw those armpits down, ribs to hips. Scoop that tummy, anchor your tail. And we've got another four to go. So exhale to lower, inhale up. Don't bend the knee, open the hip. Anchor that tail, one more. Release down and relax there. Now, you can hug your knees in just for a second. Taking your legs back, so knees are over hips but just relax those feet down, so they're down towards your bottom. Now from here, you're in neutral at the moment, so you've got that little arch in your lower back. I'd like you to imprint, so from here, you're gonna scoop the tummy, imprint your lower back to the floor, pull your belly back and down into the ground. So you make room for those knees or thighs to come in towards your chest. You're gonna squeeze them in as far as you can, and then you're gonna release back, and as you release back, you're gonna start to travel those thighs away from you. Move back into neutral, hold that position, and then send the toes to the floor. Squeeze that tummy, draw the thighs back in. Okay, so it's quite a small movement, it's very specific. Hold your neutral. Hands behind your head here is just useful 
and to keep out your shoulders. So draw those armpits down and keep the arms active. Exhale, imprint, squeeze that tummy, lead with the belly like we did in those pelvic tilts at the beginning. Now it's the scoop in of the tummy that draws the legs in. This shouldn't be thigh work, it's belly work. Pull it in, Three, uh, really draw to the floor. And now start to find your way back to neutral. Because you're manipulating the spine and the pelvis, the legs will travel back, they'll come knees over hips. Hold it here, strong tummy, and start to lower those toes very gently towards the floor. Don't worry if you don't get to the floor. Scoop back and hold in neutral. We go again two more times. Imprint, squeeze that belly, draw the tummy to the floor, find space for those thighs to come in. Manipulate back to neutral. That's the movement, that's what you're concerned about. Use the tummy to find that neutral position. Soften your ribs, exhale and lower. Take those knees away. If you've got good connections, then your back won't arch. If that is a step too far, then delete that bit. Just do the scoop. One more time, we round in. Draw the belly in, into your chest, squeeze that tummy. And now with control, we take the pelvis back to neutral. Hold your neutral, ribs in, tummy tight, armpits down, and we send those legs away. Now, weirdly, you need armpits here because it's all about trunk support. So draw those armpits down, draw the knees back in and relax there. Take a moment, just take a breather. And when you're ready, you're coming back over onto uh, hands and knees. So we've got front support. Okay, so front support is like a version of plank, but it's up on your, up on your hands. And um, you're very welcome to do this on uh, forearms if you prefer, although we will be coming into plank in a second. So if you'd like to add an alternative, you very, very much can. So draw your shoulders back, press the ground away. Now remember those belly lifts that we do four point kneeling. You're gonna add those in here. You're gonna scoop your tummy up to your spine. Really, really pull up, don't round, just pull up. And now inhale, release. One more time, exhale, suck the tummy up to the, um, the spine, soften those ribs, pelvic floor a little bit. Now let's go into very, very, very nod, a gentle nod towards the cat. So we're gonna allow that spine just to very, very slightly curve, a tiny bit. So what you might find is that your pelvic floor switches on a bit more. You've got a bit more bottom access, so you can squeeze the glutes a bit more. Check that your head doesn't drop and your shoulders don't sink um, as a consequence. Now hold that tuck, take one foot back, tuck the toes under. Now when you move the legs, don't change that tuck. Keep the belly lift, take the second leg back and we hold here for five breaths, up to five breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Every exhale is your scoop and your tuck, as you know. Inhale and we hold. We keep pressing the ground away. We keep drawing those shoulders back. So we're not into the shoulders, we're not into the neck. We're holding ourselves up with our tummies, with our core. Tuck the tail under, strong legs. If you don't make it to five breaths with the integrity of the shape, then come back down and do a second. Doesn't matter. And then let's release the knee down and relax there, okay? So just one front support. So really maintaining that emphasis of a bit like Sphinx, like we did um, in the last set. Come on to side sitting. We're gonna do a side bend and we're gonna have legs together. So like a clam shape. If they are slightly staggered, that's also fine. Take your hand away and you need it, again, if your wrists aren't happy here, any of the previous side lying options that we've done is fine. Um, your wrist needs to be away from you. Don't have it right under your shoulder, push it away. And then you've got to start by opening yourself to sit forward. So really open this chest, draw this armpit down, tuck the ribs, lift the waist. Now remember, when you lift here, the lift is this, not this, not this. Okay, so really think of lifting your ribs, lifting your waist, there's a band wrapped round that's gonna lift you up into a side bend. So your hips come up, but the emphasis is here. Pull up through the waist, open through this side, and then release back down. So remember those side bends that we did? It's lengthening one side and shortening the other. Open, shorten, okay? So we're gonna do that two more times. When you're ready, we exhale, lift. Scoop up and inhale, back down. We're gonna come onto the feet when we do this um, in the next round. But for now, I just want you to get the, the movement absolutely right. 
squeeze up. Now, try not to sink into this shoulder, press the floor away, tuck those ribs in and release all the way back down again. Now, one more version if you want it. We're gonna come up, hold here, keep the hips high and now rotate yourself round. Snake that arm under, don't collapse in the ribs, don't turn the pelvis. Open back out to a T and release back down. So very much this that we've been doing all week, okay? One more, oh, two weeks. One more time, we're coming up. Now you can hold if you want to, or you rotate round. Shoulders down, draw the tummy in, tuck the ribs in, send that arm under, scoop your belly, opening up to a T and release all the way back down. Twiddle around, other side. Okay, so position your legs so you don't feel clunky, so you don't feel like they restrict you or stop you moving. Remember, take the hand away, pressing the ground away, armpit rolls back, connect into that armpit, the lats draw down. Make sure your ribs aren't flaring, tuck them in. Draw the tummy in, connect through your waist, and when you're ready, you exhale, press the floor away and lift up, shortening this side, opening this side and then control back down. Like I say, any of the previous versions that we've been doing are fine. So, and give you the same sort of emphasis. So don't worry if this is too much. We are going to exhale, lift, pressing down, drawing that armpit away from the ear so you're not into shoulders and you're not tensing into your neck. One more like this. Lift that waist, lift those ribs, tuck the underside of the rib cage in and release back down. Now we have the option of the snake for two more. We inhale up, exhale, rotate round. Inhale, open, and release down. So the breath cycle is slightly different. It's an inhale, lift, so think of floating up. Press the ground and lift, inhale up. Lifting and opening into these ribs, exhale, rotate. Now don't drop in that waist. Don't let the hips drop, don't let the ribs drop. Keep that pull away from the ground. Inhale, open, and release. Back down, relax there. Okay, so our final thing in this sequence is plank. So we have to come from our uh, sphinx into plank. So sphinx is your option. Coming onto your full point, um, onto your front even. So interlinking those fingers, rolling the shoulders back, Legs are quite relaxed, but let's get them a little bit closer than they were. Now the first option is just to come to your knees. So let's come into that in the same way as we would the Sphinx. So we round from the tail, we scoop from the belly, we tuck under, but we just come a little bit higher. So you're up onto your knees, you're gonna hold here. Every inhale is a hold, a check. Every exhale is a scoop, a tuck, a deepen, a ribs in. Now, making sure that your body's scanning and correcting the whole time. Don't just sit in this. Think of really powering the connect corrections, making sure you're really using your mind to control where you are in space. And let's release back down. So that would be option one. We've got three planks. Option two is coming up onto your toes. We would come the same way, rounding, scoop the tummy, hold on your knees, tuck your toes, reach your heels away. Now, because you've got the strength in your belly and the good tuck, you're not gonna sink into your lower back. If you feel like that's a danger for you, stay on your knees. It's just as hard, and for varying um, ability levels, you've gotta choose one that's gonna work best for you, for you to get the most out of. One, sometimes when you're up in plank like this, it can just be too much. Take a knee down, another knee down, and rest. Okay, you wanna choose one where you've got the space and the time and the strength to really be able to think about what you're doing. Too much um, chucked in the mix can confuse things. So option, let's go for our third version or our third repetition. Roll the shoulders back, tuck the ribs in, round your tummy up to your knees. Don't lift your bottom too high. Remember, it's all about tuck, not the height. Tuck the toes under, send those heels away. So you're reaching from the crown of your head out through your heels. Press the ground away, ribs in, tail under, belly lift. Breathe and hold. Shoulders back, neck long. Let's take the knees down one at a time. Relax, come up onto hands and knees. Sit yourself back into child's pose. So you can have knees together or knees apart and just reach yourself forwards over your legs. Relax your head down. 
Don't worry if your bum doesn't come down to your heels, that's also fine. Now from here, or in this position, this is just your end stretch, I just want you to take some big breaths. So breathing into the upper back, breathing into the mid back, breathing into your pelvis, broadening and opening your sit bones, allowing the breath to come into the side of the ribs. And then when you're ready, coming all the way up. And you are done. <laughs> well done, everybody. So that is your next set. So like I say, if you're not happy with anything, you've got a whole list of things that you can add in, take away. What we try and do is create a, a, a sequence that is flexion, extension, lateral flexion. Um, so we're trying to move the core in as many different directions as we can. So if you can't do any on your wrist, substitute it with one that's on your elbow or you know, find one from previous list. If you're not sure, just give me a shout and I'll, I'll give you an idea. Thanks so much for joining me. I really hope you loved this video. Be sure to subscribe and share this with another person in your life who you know would love it too. Um, and if you'd like to know more about Mind Body Menno and how we can support you through menopause with tailored movement, expert advice and a community of women just like you, then click the link below in the comments. But for now, if you're ready to just enjoy another session with me, then just click here.